Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today over here on Uniquely Us. And this portion is called Frank's Take, and where I take a story and I highlight it here on the channel, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is a story I covered, man, when it took place sometime last year when the Nord Stream gas pipeline was sabotaged, and there was lots of finger pointing of who may have done it. And one of the things I had theorized over on my channel at the time was the involvement of the U.S. government at behest of Joe Biden in order to continue the conflict between Ukraine and Russia and continue to put pressure on the EU to, or, or I guess uh, uh, NATO to continue this, uh, to fund this war and continue to push us closer to a world war conflict, a nuclear war, if you will, with Russia. And this is because they needed this distraction. They needed to continue to utilize this conflict to protect their interests within Ukraine. We know there's a lot of corruption in Ukraine. There has been tons of corruption within the Ukraine. Not saying that Russia is the good guys in this. However, Ukrainian, the Ukraine uh, whole thing is definitely not the good guys either. Not somebody we should be supporting and pouring money into with their uh, with their shady dealings with the corrupt individuals within our own government and the things that they've been funding. Uh, such as things as labs and, and of course, uh, money laundering that has been taking place in that country. Um, and there's a whole thing I may cover later on tonight in a live stream. Right. Well, we'll go ahead and detail the 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 involvement of Zelensky and his willingness to go ahead and continue this war with Russia in order to continue to hide the fact that there is so much corruption that we are engaged in. And when I say we as a nation, I mean our corrupt politicians who are cur currently fleecing us through Ukraine. So before we dive into today's story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here on Uniquely Us, thank you for joining us, allowing me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 300 likes. I would love for us to get 300 likes. That would be great. Uh, also, if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel and want to support us, so make sure you can hit that super thanks as well. So let's kind of dive into it. This report was coming from Tucker Carlson and talking about um, about the involvement of the Biden administration. Tucker Carlson on the reports of Biden administration blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline. Joe Biden denied and any responsibility. He blamed Russia. Now we have actual answers to what happened. And it's not possible. That is not true. It is true. Sabotage. Let's take a listen. So before the war in Ukraine even began, both Toria Newland at the State Department, the number two of the State Department, and Joe Biden threatened to blow up the Nord Stream pipeline. Watch. I want to be clear with you today. If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. If Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine again, then uh, there will be uh, we there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. But, but how will you how will you do that exactly since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will. Uh, I promise you we'll be able to do it. So then the pipelines actually blew up. And these are the pipelines that bring natural gas from Eastern Europe to Western Europe to keep the European economy going. And they exploded, causing the single largest human-caused environmental disaster in all of history. And again, setting Europe on the road to actual poverty. So it was an unpopular event, and Joe Biden denied any responsibility. In fact, he blamed Russia. Joe Biden and his whole administration told us that somehow Russia, for reasons they never made clear, just because they're evil, had sabotaged their own energy pipeline. Watch this. It was a, a deliberate act of sabotage. And now the Russians are pumping out disinformation and lies. So that was in September. And it was obvious from the very first day, well, that's not true. It's not that Vladimir Putin is too good a person to blow up Nord Stream. But like, why would he? It only hurts him. And by the way, it really hurts Western Europe. But a lot of media outlets repeated that lie dutifully. That's what they do and attacked us as Putin stooges for having questions about it. Well, we know a lot more now. There have been a number of official investigations of what happened and not one has found any evidence of Russian involvement. And now we have the actual answer to what happened. Oh, the Biden administration did it for real. 
Investigative reporter Seymour Hirsch, who's been around for more than 50 years, just wrote a piece on Substack that includes this, quote, Last June, the Navy divers, U.S. Navy divers, operating under the cover of a widely publicized midsummer NATO exercise known as Ball Tops 22, planted remotely triggered explosives that three months later destroyed three of the four Nord Stream pipelines, according to a source with direct knowledge of the operational planning. Now, this piece continues. It's probably the most comprehensive news story you will read this year. Seymour Hirsch on Substack, you should read it. And it recounts in detail meetings with the National Security Advisor at the White House, where this was planned, exactly what explosives were used, how they were triggered by what aircraft on what day. So many details in here that it is not possible that it's not true. It is true. And in fact, no one in the high level of the U.S. government is denying it with any specificity and said the White House is just dismissing this utterly false. And no reporters are following up on this. And of course, no media out, out reporters will follow up on this because it, it, it ruins their narrative. It ruins the propaganda that as they continue to try to push us closer to a nuclear conflict with Russia. And and again, again and instead of trying to dis- escalate for peace and, and stabilize the region, we continue to push more aggression. Uh, now you have people like Z- uh, we have uh, Zelensky out there begging for more air force, uh, more jets to uh, fight Russia with, right? In a continued, obviously, aggression and escalation against Russia. And that's going to continue to prolong this world, which is not going to help the United States in any way. And if anything, it's going to continue to harm us by continuing for us to pour in more money to prop up NATO and Ukraine against Russia. It's absolutely insane what we're doing, but it's because there is so much that is going on in Ukraine that our government does not want us to know what they've been up to. Anyway, that's why I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey, Gab, and Twitter, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. Continue to help us reach that goal of 10,000 subs. Would love that if we could hit that uh, here soon, but that's only possible if you guys hit that sub button. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Have a great, great day.